just some people that you connect with, and I think anybody who's ever shared a stage with Johnny Neal knows what it's like to be in the moment because that's what Johnny's all about. And I learned so much from him about, you know, it's kind of like freedom of speech from a musical standpoint. It's like, I'm going to do this, deal with it. And, uh, and it's just been such a pleasure and such a privilege to know Johnny and uh, to watch him and watch his success and see how other people have related to him and, and share it in that success. And um, all I can say is that it's, it's been one of the true pleasures and privileges of my life to, to get to hang out and spend some time with the great Johnny Neal. And I believe he and the guys are probably going to get up here and blow your mind yet again. Johnny, are you on? Is he in the premises? You know, they asked us to tell stories about Johnny while he's coming up here. I'll tell you one story. So, well, I'll tell you two quick ones. He, if Johnny was the first guy I ever saw fall asleep standing up. <laughs> leaning up against the bar of the Bluebird Cafe. Man, I'm just talking away. And after a while, it's like, hey. I nudge, and, and he woke up, and we got right back to the conversation. But I, I was very impressed with his sense of balance on that, for sure. <laughs> And, and the other one, I, I got to say, and this could apply to anyone who's been on the road with Johnny. End of the gig, the gig's awesome. People are hanging out. Everybody's having a great time. It's like, hey, Palm, hey, what time's the bus leave? 6 a.m. Okay, see ya. And he would take off with who, people he just met to hang out and do whatever he wanted to do with them and vice versa. And, 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 and sure enough, at 5.58, Car pulls up to the bus, and there's Johnny. He never missed the bus. Pretty damn impressive, because I'm a bit of a deadline man myself. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Johnny Neal. Make him welcome. What a great night. Thanks to Doug and everybody who's put this thing together. Uh, it's been incredible. Shelly and Christine and everybody. So now we got the criminals. I mean, they're not crime stoppers, I'll tell you that. Uh, 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 Kurt Redding on the drums, y'all, please help me out with that. Played all night through Jack Pearson in the love of life in Jesus Christ, I tell you. Russell Wright, never wrong on the bass. Come on. Randy's bone on the guitar. I know it's been a long night, I won't bore you. But my experience was, we, uh, Kurt and Russell and I all played in a band called Miley, and we met Johnny through a guy named Chef Dave, and we started playing, and Johnny would sit in, and we'd hang out. And then we cut a record at his house, and he produced it, and it was the best record we ever made. And uh, <laughs> about the time that Mile 8 broke up, Johnny gave me a call one day, and he said, hey, man, I want you and Kurt and Russell to be my band. And so I called my mom, and I'm just like, oh, my God, Mom, you know, Johnny Neal wants me to be in his band. Well, then it dawns on me that I've got to follow Jack Pearson and Shane Terrio <laughs> and, and Danny Hamlin and all these guys. And one, I'm expressing this to Johnny one day, and I'm like, you know, man, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't play like those guys. And Johnny said, you know what? Fuck those guys. You do you. <laughs> so I know I'm no Jack Pearson, but I'm doing me. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Johnny. He really, he raises, he raises musicians. He's taught us how to play. He's taught us how to live and be, and we love him to death. Thank you, Johnny. One, two, a one.
damn, you know, I've got the, so many good people surrounding me. I was in Italy when uh, this was recorded initially with a big C3 hammer. And uh, Jack Pearson knows what I'm talking about. It's one of them church organs you don't want to move to the second floor. Anyway, I hope you like this song. It scared the hell out of me when I wrote it. <laughs> criminal.
further down this long and lonely road. I can't seem to understand this feeling though through all the places I might end up somehow I just know I can always find my way back home to say something about that song. Eh? That's why the band became the band, because we were practicing. And I can always find. I said, oh, I didn't hit that note. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, dig it, man. Uh, do y'all have a good time seeing We got two more songs. Now, you know, I want to say again, thank you all for this, our last song. I don't think I've ever had a better night in my life. I'm going to tell you about it. Love y'all, 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny Neal. If we're lucky, we'll get 50 more. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me the gift of song. 